What is up, YouTube? It's Prem back, back with a new series, The Wolf Among Us. I know nothing about this game. My wife recommended I play it. She says it's right up my alley. Uh, I did look at the reviews on uh, Steam. It got good reviews. Never heard of it before, but we'll jump into it and see how it goes. I'm just sitting here watching this opening screen here and trying to figure out what the hell this game's about. Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's do this. Start the episode. The hell? Episode 1, Faith. Okay. Start. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay, good to know. That was one of these. Okay. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homeland. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff's Big B Wolf protects them from each other. All right, are we playing as the sheriff? I guess we'll find out. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the oh, more moisture. Oh, trippy it graphics. So 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity, and it is muggy out there. Why does it look like Sin City? Wolf Among Us. Oh, it does look like Sin City. <laughs> Kingdom Hotels. I wonder if the whole game's going to look like this. So that's pretty cool. South Bronx, sometime after midnight. The fuck is that? Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know <laughs> I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding what the me fuck? Dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Okay, we got talking toads, Fuck witches. Now. See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Uh, so what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. I got a feeling this is about to get interesting. Oh, let me get comfortable here. Turn the headset up. New books of fables entries unlocked, okay? Very pricked up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Yeah, the lights frogs. are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. 
then get the fuck back inside. Okay, this is going to be interesting. You're going to know who I fucking am, you hear me? Oh, this hey, looks interesting look already. Um, how does this work? Let's go. Book of matches. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Was he beating the shit out of in there? I'm, I'm here picking up shit. Um, what's over here? What is this? Can I pick it up? Guess not. Let's go. All right, let me get in there. Got a feeling of the fight coming on. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about? What the f oh, okay, I'm liking this already. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. All right, what's going on? Oh, son of a bitch. What are you going to fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Again? Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. Oh, we got history. This isn't last time. Oh, damn. Oh, it's one of these types of games. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, he's gonna shank me. Good try, motherfucker. You gotta do better than that. Oh shit. Oh damn! I'm a fucking glutton for punishment. Fuck you. Ow. Oh, this is cool as shit. Oh, oh shit. Ow. Oh, my wife is right, right up my alley. Oh, oh I almost... This is a tough fucker. Oh, shit. Oh, hell, fuck. Uh. Ooh, that would have hurt. Ooh. Oh, this is brutal. I love it. Stay down. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. A hooker. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Something right he here. He showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones. Oh, damn. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Are we gonna go round two? Oh, shit. Damn. This is great. He did? <clears throat> hey, Toad. My this is car. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. your car. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. So, uh, how good is your insurance? <laughs> I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, he's fucking still alive! Come on! Oh, you're fucking in there. Oh, oh man, that feels like I'm pushing. I'll put you out of your misery. I can't push no faster. You fucking lumbrow. You ignorant. Come on. Go on, our wall. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck happened? Oh, dick. Thank you. Why did my eyes turn yellow? Is that the wolf thing? This son of a bitch is still getting up. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. I thought she was a hooker, but I don't think so. Something else is going on here. The guy's got an axe in his brain. <laughs> He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you. He's still getting up. Fucking bad. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, damn. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, there, I wonder what the backstory with her is. Something's, she's not just a hooker. <laughs> oh, this is great. Shit. Just come on. I'll go give her my matches I picked up. Yep. Here. Thanks. Man, that guy screwed me all up. Who do you work for, really? Yeah, right? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, I just, you like my ribbon? I just saved your ass. Speak up. Stop changing the subject. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess.
Where'd he go? Ah, oh, fuck. Gotta deal with this guy again. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with her is. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna be nice. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's twenty. Forty. Seven. Eight. Fifty-eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. Maybe it's she is a just a hooker. For an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And well, thank you. I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Are we having a moment? Hey. I need to tell you something. Uh oh. What is it? I'm not the father. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. And off in the light she goes. Now we got, I guess we're gonna go find this guy. This lumberjack or whatever the fuck he is. Oh, talk to Toad about his car. <laughs> well, that was a hell of an opening for a game. And yeah, my wife's right. I li I'm gonna like this. If the whole game's like this, hell yeah. It's got that Sin City vibe. I'm just curious what happens uh, when those eyes go yellow. Do I actually shape shift? I guess we'll find out. Episode one. Faith. The Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. Uh, what do we got to do here? I guess I gotta push the button. Luxury I'm trying to figure out the controls. And hell, you do this. There we go. So it looks like it's A to interact. Playing with an Xbox controller. What's this? Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Uh oh, not this fucker again. Who the hell was that?
Come on out. Okay, it's not him. All right, all right. Well, hello. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. She scares somebody. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Yeah, she... Somebody was looking for her. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Beast? He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I just I'm said I'm staying out of it. You later. I will. But I have to go. Bunch of strange characters so far. It's not what you might be thinking. I have no clue what to think yet. I'm really digging the graphics of this. Good old security. Uh, let's see what this. Guy's useless. Uh. Hey, you wink. Nope, he's out. Probably for the best. What's this book? Oh, it's a sign in. Uh. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Haha. <laughs> He's out like a light. Pay all this money for a luxury apartment and can't get good security. Been a while since I got any mail. 205? Seventh day in a row. Yeah, at least you ain't got no bills. Okay, where are we going? What'd that say? 205. G Rimble. Okay. Anything else around here? I don't see nothing. Alright, I guess we're going up. Assuming this is our apartment. Who the fuck is this now? Bigby. Hey. Wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Hmm. I thought our apartment was 204. That's where we checked mailbox 205. Damn. Should have cracked a window. Oh, this place is run down. Holy shit. Talk about luxury apartments. I was gonna say, don't drink that water.
Alright, let's go check out this dump. What do we got to eat? Why do I even own this? Puff and puff. A smaller one. Anything in the freezer? You need to be defrosted, that's for sure. Damn it. Alright, let's go see. Is that a laptop? No folder. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Alright, anything else? Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, right? Uh, who the fuck is in here with me? At least this still works. I got a roommate? Should help. Seriously, what the fuck is... <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. I was going to be with these fucked up games. Again. Oh, man. Um. Hey, Colin. Get up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, huh. And he hey, fucking baby. talks. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, get out. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Don't start with me, I'll fucking make you bacon. Don't be shitting on my floor either. <laughs> Got a smoke? The fuck pig just asked me for a cigarette? Oh man. <laughs> this is great. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. <laughs> this is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who hey. said that? Yeah, My some said sad that. asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. Good. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Hint, hint, hint. Fuck you. 
<laughs> you didn't like that. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By don't you shit on my floor. And being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. I'm gonna let you from a pig. Wow. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Snow? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give the pig a drink for you shut the hell up. Thanks, Bigby. Wow. <laughs> This fucked up game, I love it. That was a quick nap. Sounds like the police knocking at the door. What the hell is this? No. Come with me. Oh, this is my crush, I think the pig said. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Something happened. I wonder if that's girl where you ran out of an apartment. Something These happened to her. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. That's a security guard's uniform. Security guard murdered? Oh, it's the hooker. No. You knew this girl? Oh, damn. He's, she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. A hooker. What's she got in her mouth? The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. 
I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Took her head right off. But somebody was pissed with her. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Damn. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You Message. Can someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Yep. What kind of monster would do this? Someone's got a bone to pick with us. What is? It's her ribbon. Oh yeah, the one she There's asked me about. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? Damn. What could do something like that? Either sharp axe. Very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Blood trail. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Have another drink. Um, can I go that way? See if there's anything else to look at. As far as to go, let me go. Nothing here. Damn, man, they took her head right off. Who? what's this? Trail. No signs that it's been here long. Pick it up. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Um. Trash can? Just some loose trash. Who? what's this? Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Alright, that's, that's... Okay, it looks like it. Over here. That's the blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here... An hour, maybe? It's gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go back inside. That was a security guard's jacket. Oh, it won't let me. Alright, I think we're done here. are you doing better to be thorough sure just hurry up we don't have much time what the hell is he doing we should 
move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. I'm assuming this game has multiple I'm endings. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Yeah, this is fishy. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. It's too obvious it's the guy that we got in a fight with. Look at these shady fuckers. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. I'm about to drop this guy, too. Fucker. The hell is this? Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Uh, she do you told understand him. me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Or oh, worse. is the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Wow, what the fuck? Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. This is why I didn't Any want to say nothing. shred of evidence, you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. <laughs> you two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? This guy's an asshole. Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. Tell him to go F himself. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Exactly. I say I told you so. You don't have to say it. But I told it you so. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. 
wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. The fuck is, is that? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Wow. <laughs> Flying monkey? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. It's the bottle you, you bought. Think it probably belongs to him. Maybe. <laughs> this game's fucked up. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. <laughs> Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. It's a weird world. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Actually, she told me to go to the mirror, but I want to see what this other shit is. Magic lamp? Lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Let's rub it. Worth a try. Nope. Yes, I mean All right, anything else? Office building. Can't go that way. I have the record right here. Give me one moment. What is this? Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. All right. Be sure to let him know. Anything else? Yes. If not, we'll go check that mirror out. No okay. Thank whoa, you. whoa, whoa. Yeah, I really like how they did this. Can I run? I could pick up pace. All right, let's go talk to this mirror. I need a shave. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. Oh, you shit. The rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, <laughs> tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Let's go, woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Let's go, Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put get down the drunk. bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Fucking old liar. <laughs> and snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I know, I just want to look at her. Uh, alright, let's get no out of here. Right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. 
Interesting. This is cool. The old drunken shit game of fly. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Looks like you should take a piss. Oh, that would have been funny. Piss all over the books. Um... Try rubbing it again just to see. Worth mm. a try. No. Nope. Alright, I guess we go back and talk to Snow. Where the hell does she go? Alright, what's this? Brighten your shitty mood a little. <laughs> Unlikely. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. All right, what we got here? Donkey? What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> I wish that was true. <laughs> RB. Anything else? Oh, wrong way. This looks familiar. Yes. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. Anything else? Let me go back a page, make sure I ain't miss nothing. Did that. Yeah, everything's done there. Did those two. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Is that it? Oh, there's that ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairlairo? I'll go look it up. Alairlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Yeah, we do. This is great. <laughs> the story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. Huh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. What the fuck? <laughs> Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Deceased. Oh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh, that was the girl I just killed. Okay. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to the mirror. talk to the husband. You think he did it? 
Can't rule him out. Surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Do we go back to the mirror? Uh, did that, did that. Where was that mirror? See what the mirror says. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? That's these what she said to us. are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. That's what she said to us. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Right? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, he's dead. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Alright, we talked we'll all three. Right or asked about all three. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, uh, I have to get that. She must be the mayor's assistant. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. For me? It's for you. I know they, how the hell they know I was here. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. All right. She must be my little crush. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We're gonna go to Toad's apartment. I don't know why. Someone's telling me to. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. I got a feeling we're gonna need this Toad later in the game. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Damn. Uh, looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey. Wait here. Uh oh, here we go. This Toad's apartment? No, 
Alice. Story. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, so far, so good. This is friggin' awesome. The gameplay is good. The graphics are awesome. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in part two. Peace.